Let's start by plotting this quadrilateral on the Cartesian plane. The vertices of the quadrilateral are the origin. Let's denote it by A. The point 40, let's denote it by B. The point 67, let's denote it by C. And the point 03, let's denote it by D. Now we join A, B, C and D to complete the quadrilateral. Let's assume that the midpoints of the four sides of the quadrilateral are the points E, F, G and H respectively. The coordinates of point E are 0 plus 4 upon 2 and 0 plus 0 upon 2. That is 2, 0. Similarly, the coordinates of point F are 6 plus 4 upon 2 and 7 plus 0 upon 2, which simplifies to 5, 7 upon 2. Similarly, the coordinates of G are 0 plus 6 upon 2 and 3 plus 7 upon 2, which simplifies to 3, 5. And finally, the coordinates of the point H are 0 plus 0 upon 2 and 3 plus 0 upon 2, which simplifies to 0, 3 upon 2. Now we join the midpoints of the opposite sides of the quadrilateral. So join H to F and G to E. Let's assume that these two lines meet at the point P whose coordinates are to be determined. Now the equation of line FH is Y minus 3 upon 2 divided by X minus 0 is equal to 7 upon 2 minus 3 upon 2 divided by 5 minus 0. The right hand side simplifies to 2 upon 5. Cross multiplying we get 5y minus 15 upon 2 is equal to 2x. Which can be written as 2x minus 5y is equal to minus 15 upon 2. Multiplying both sides by 2 we get 4x minus 10y is equal to minus 15. Similarly, the equation of line EG is y minus 0 divided by x minus 2 is equal to 5 minus 0 divided by 3 minus 2. The right hand side simplifies to 5. Cross multiplying, we get y is equal to 5x minus 10. Now we need to find the coordinates of the point P, which lies at the intersection of the lines EG and FH, whose equations are 4x minus 10y is equal to minus 15, and y is equal to 5x minus 10, as obtained above. To solve for P, we substitute the value of Y from the second equation into the first equation and therefore we get 4X minus 10 times in brackets 5X minus 10 is equal to minus 15. This implies that minus 46X is equal to minus 115 which implies that X is equal to minus 115 divided by minus 46 which simplifies to 5 upon 2. Substituting this in the second equation above, we get y, which is equal to 5x minus 10, is equal to 5 times 5 upon 2 minus 10, which is equal to 5 upon 2. Therefore, the required coordinates of point P 
or 5 upon 2, 5 upon 2, which is the required answer.